Well, it's not her first turn in the pool of yuck. Yeah, done this before. Mm -hmm. But Nina Springs Charter School principal Carissa Carroll has a track record of going above and beyond to motivate her students. Wink News anchor Lisa Hudson takes us to Bonita Springs, where a pool of yuck inspired a fundraising frenzy among her students. I am looking forward to this. A reward for a job well done. We've got hot sauce, salsa. Um, oh this one, uh, I believe this is cat food. Putting the principal in the pool of yuck. <laughs> it absolutely disturbs me how much they enjoy it. That motivation raised $50,000. We're trying to take our multi purpose room and transition it into a gymnasium, which is um, a half basketball court and a volleyball. Um, court as well as performing arts center. So all of the funds that were raised for this event are going towards that final phase of that particular project. So they oh, I don't think she'll like it. I don't think she'll like it. Seventh grader Luca Cresswell raised the most money of any student, more than twelve hundred dollars. I mean, I was kind of surprised, but I for this specific fundraiser, I usually like do a lot every year. Oh, who brought milk? I brought in a half a gallon of milk. Fourth grader Kiara Thompson came prepared to really yuck up the pool. So they did the top class, and that was us. So we got really, really excited, and we're like, oh, we're going to bring in some stuff quick. And she even has a strategy. Um, well, I'm thinking of kind of going zigzag. <laughs> nice. One by one. Okay, what do we got? Oh, who brought the pickle juice from their house? Poor by poor. Thank you, thank you. A celebration. Well, for most of them. As principals, we do anything for the kids right. and helping our school, but it is so gross and disgusting. In Bonita Springs. But thank you for raising money. Great job, great job. Lisa Hudson, Wink News. It kind of does look disgusting. Bonita <laughs> Springs Charter School is a lighthouse school for Leader and Me, an education based model with the idea that every child can be a leader. The students raised the final 50000 of the $375,000 goal for the Zunasium, which will allow them to have PE indoors, which will help out especially during rainy weather.